just leaving Santa Fe. It's like past nine. It's pretty late. I was just realizing this is probably my last day in Santa Fe for like a year or more. I, uh, I found out I had to go to City Hall and not um, the Capitol building. I mean, which makes sense, but whatever. I, I just wanted to see the Capitol building anyway. I felt really productive filling out the forms. And um, I feel like I got seduced by the seductions of bureaucracy because look at this. I got a certificate with my name on it. It says business license. Um, and so, yeah, it makes me feel really important and cool. And um, that's the problem with bureaucracy. It makes you feel productive when you fill out these forms. There's the Palace of the Governors and there's a long strip where people are selling jewelry and things. And I want to be at the end of that strip. Everybody wants to know where they're gone. Everybody knows what the cards are shown. Everybody stands with their hand on the chin. Everybody looks like they fit right in. They told me that it was state property so I couldn't be on there because so I needed a different permit or something to be there. This, this is on the um, Palace of the Governors side of the plaza. All the people line up here um, selling jewelry and things, so you can't busk there. I ran into my buddy Greg Johns. He let me sit at his spot for a couple songs while he paid his parking. Gonna get new pants. Gonna learn how to dance. Gonna get a new he said there was another guy who was lined up uh, along Lincoln Avenue. They have actually on Lincoln and on the other side they have these tables. And I think um, here it's better to, to busk where people are sitting so that they have to sit and listen to me, you play. It was hard because at the very center, at the monument, there was somebody who was uh, playing drums. And the drums were kind of loud. But I did hear that San Francisco Street, by where the um, stores are, the storefronts, the sidewalk there, which is the south corner of the plaza, I heard that was one of the best spots. I guess there's like three guys who like kind of compete for that spot. I really viewed the city completely differently than I ever had before, where I see every like sidewalk corner as a potential place where I could stand and interact with people. I never realized how how many buskers were there but when you are you see them all like your your brain like knows there's one here there's one here there's one here there's one here and and you really focus on the city centers and and city centers are a fascinating and um, important thing i think plazas um, are really important aspects of a city because that's where people run into each other and they share ideas and they s figure out what Bob's been up to and what Janet's been up to. So city centers are really important and I think to experience them the way they're meant to be experiences, which is how you can interact with people here in the context of music, is something that I really like. And if you compare that to say, how does a, how does, you know, people could be, go people are probably going on dates there. They're experiencing it in a whole nother way where they're sort of in the world of the date, the world of their relationship and their partner. You got people who are tourists there who experience it such that they see everything that's in the windows. They see all the items on display in the windows and maybe they don't notice the other things that I see. I certainly, like you can't really ask me any item or the price of any item that was on the windows of any of the stores that I walked by. So my experience of what I just did was completely different of somebody else's experience based on my goals and my intentions. I had this really kind of high impact moment when I was watching this band play at the, at the bandstand and like the community because I, I saw people there who I had like recognized earlier in the day I saw another guy who was busking and I was like man how incredible is that to just be hanging out at the plaza all day playing music and then seeing music and probably this guy knows a lot of people so he it's like a whole community thing where everybody gets to see each other and then I saw John Gorka how crazy is that, that on my last day in Santa Fe, I see John Gorka. And the, the funny thing, I was, I was at Desert Dogs Brewery before that. And uh, Desert Dogs is great because the people, like, talk to each other. Like, it's one of the most open um, in terms of, like, talking to strangers. So I started talking to this guy. He makes music, too. He's, like, a folk singer, too. Um, but he's, like, on a fire lookout, which is fascinating. And he asked me my musical influences, and I said John Prine, John Gorka, and Jonathan Richmond. And then, you know, um, 
here was John Gorka in person. I was like, what the hell? I wanted to ask if it was him. I kind of followed him a little bit and then I was like, are you John Gorka? And he was like, I am. And it made me feel good because he was with his son and I was like, you know, this guy, I think he's great. He's one of the, the top songwriters that I think and he's one of my favorites and and like I'm appreciating him, you know, like his son gets to see like a fan who runs into him and recognizes him in real life and like nobody else had, had done that. Like he was standing in a crowd and like nobody else recognized him. So I thought, you know, that's cool that John Gorka's son gets to see that he's got a fan who's like, you know, a young guy. Anytime I go see his shows, I'm always like the youngest guy there. And I said, John Gorka, you're one of my big influences. And then I pulled out my download card and I gave him my card. And, um, so John Gorka got my card today in Santa Fe, like, that's, it's just wild. Uh, so it just seemed like the magic of Santa Fe, um, it did not disappoint me. Santa Fe, I kind of understand why they have permits here, because there were so many people. Like, I was going to go on this whole rant about, you got this little permit form, and it tells you that you should stay 50 feet away from the people, um, and it's like, do we really need to have rules like we're in kindergarten? But probably when the busking is so intense, like literally making them be conscientious of that is probably like a helpful thing for changing the busking, the, the street performer culture here. I had no idea how prominent busking was, which kind of makes sense for why they have permits um, in the plaza too, is that it's like such a strong culture here. I busted five different spots tonight. I busked, I busked at five different spots and um, one of the spots just made me feel really good. The sun was kind of setting and the um, environment was just so nice and um, I just I just felt good staring at the buildings that were across there. I appreciated them and, and um, that's kind of what it's about. So thanks for checking out this video. Let me know what, what you think uh, in the comments. If you like it, please like, share, and um, I appreciate you uh, you watching this video. And um, hit me up with the subscribes if you want to see the, the videos that I come out with.